Okay, sorry. Um, this is part two, guys. Sorry, I keep getting cut off. This energy is driving me crazy. I'm really sorry. I keep getting cut off. Listen, this is a really important read. So I'm going to record because I think I got cut off. I'm going to redo it a little bit at the end there. Where we were was at the devil energy. And I was just telling people, please, if you feel like you're going to do something bad to yourself because you don't know what to do right now, you can't reach somebody, and you don't want a new cycle to start. You may be trying to buy time. Um, you're feeling completely defeated and, and just horrible thoughts, stabbing thoughts, hurtful thoughts coming at you, and you can't handle it, and your towers are coming down. Look, please don't go doing anything bad to yourself. Please. That I, 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 I hope that that reaches whoever it needs to. It's, please don't do that. If you're thinking about doing something bad because you're heartbroken and you know, you're, you're feeling guilty and everything and just, you know what, let, don't be afraid to let something new start. Okay. Cause it has to, it has to, it's coming. It's coming, it, you know, and it could bring in wonderful opportunities. So, all right, anyway, um, yeah, because I've got towers coming down for this person. They're in devil energy, hanging on, you know, hanging on. I also see here that this person, um, if you see, the, the devil is holding chains to this couple here. And it almost seems as though they may be held in a commitment that no longer serves them. Okay. So this could also be that. They may be stuck. They may be stuck. And remember, there's two things coming in. There's two, there may be two different types of truths coming in. Two things that they want to say. Two different things. It's going to bring in a storm, but it's going to release it as well. Okay, it's going to release it and clear things up as well. So it needs to be done. And I think they want to delay that. I, I, that's what I think they want. I don't know. It's so weird. Okay, so I think there's probably a couple different groups. I think some people want to, are, this King of Wands is trying to delay your new beginning. A cycle from closing. They, because they're holding on and holding back, right? So if they're still holding on, I feel like they want to try to delay it, okay? Because they want this Ten of Cups with you. It's all over the place. But then on the on the flip side, it could this new cycle could just be delayed for you because this truth has to come in. It has to come in and release you guys. Okay, so you can see that however it resonates with you. Take it however it resonates. Either way, a tower moment is coming. The tower has to come down. And I'm guessing it's going to be for this King of Wands. That he's going to end up with a tower moment. Um, because this woman, his, his, he sees as his empress. Okay. She could also be pregnant. This could also stand for a pregnancy. Um, take that however it resonates. And that's not going to be for everyone, okay? But this is a very spiritual woman. Um, she's, she's got every queen in her, okay? She's every queen rolled up into one spiritual, highly intuitive, powerful woman, okay? And that's who the King of Wands sees this woman. And I got the Strength card in reverse and the Sun card in reverse along with her. I feel that he's saying that this is, because of this double uh, devil energy, I feel it's obsessive, right? I feel it's it's got some duality as well to it. But as an obsessive energy, I feel that um, this one person here, this Empress, is this person's weakness. This this person's weakness 
and without her the, there's no happiness for him anymore this is the sun now we've got two sun cards one is upright because it was describing this queen of wands and how he feels about her but now at the end here the sun is in reverse and I think that's where the devil energy is coming from as well. I think he's stuck in a different relationship. Take that however you want. He's stuck in a relationship that may be toxic because the devil is controlling it. Okay? The devil's controlling it. He has it by, by the leash. And I think um, at the same time he's obsessive, resentful, possibly angry, possibly jealous because he knows that this beautiful new cycle is going to begin yeah and he's about to lose his happiness here and he knows that this woman is his only weakness his only weakness and he's he may also be out of control of his emotions um because of that rage inside this is a internal this is internal rage why do I say eternal? You could be dealing with a twin flame journey too. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, you could be under that contract, soulmate, twin flame contract. Um, you could be a divine feminine. This could be a divine masculine story. Take that. However it resonates doesn't need to be though. But yeah, um, also during that this read I also pulled some mixed emotions cards this person does feel guilty for what has happened in the past definitely feels guilty for what has happened in the past however I do not see a single apology card in here I see some love and I see a lot of passion and I see a lot of burdens and and piercing thoughts but I don't see cups Think about that. But they do feel guilty for what they've done. However, this too has duality in it. They feel guilty on one part of it. <clears throat> now I asked how they, you know, how they feel about you. When they think about you, it makes them feel guilty. But at the same time, they feel very comforted. They feel very free. Okay, now let's talk about that for a second. Reassured consoled and nourished nourished didn't I just say in the part one video that I felt like my energy was being sucked okay my energy was being sucked someone else out there may be experiencing the same thing try to put up a mental block cleanse um because they're not allowed to do that and I don't think it's intentional. I think because of all the tower moments here and the burdens and the memories and feeling like they are just missing this person, I think that energy, they're reaching for that energy, that feeling where you made them feel free. You made them feel unburdened, it says right here, unburdened. Um liberated independent and unburdened out of all these burdens this was this is the thoughts of you is their happy place right where did i say thoughts of you is their is their happy place but if if this new cycle turns they you may find your wish fulfillment somewhere else and they're going to lose they're going to lose their their happiness okay and that's that's the whole part of this devil energy and this obsessiveness because one part of their brain is thinking great wonderful thoughts about you to escape the feelings that they're having from actually the obsession itself and it's mind-boggling for them and that's that's why they're just like I can't freaking take it anymore Wow 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 all right um what advice do you have um, divine what advice can I give whoever's watching here I hope this resonates with somebody because 
honestly, the energy is so... I'm... Oh, that's way too many divine, but they still are flipping out. Working on two things at once, yeah. Somebody wants to... Somebody is working on two things at once here, juggling, but yet at the same time they want to have a new beginning. And that's part of that duality that I'm talking about. There's so... It's like contradictions everywhere in here. Yeah. Some even though somebody's juggling two different things here, um, two different projects, two different something. They're working on two different things here. That they 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 may be juggling, but they want a new beginning. It's very confusing. And look at all these cards that come spitting out. All right, divine. Um, what? What else can you show us? What other messages do you have for the person who's watching? I don't even know what to name this video. How about just a, ooh. <laughs> oh boy, someone is in their emperor energy wanting to take control of this situation. Like right now, it want, they want it to be done their way and their way only. And they're not going to take any lip. This person could be fairly narcissistic as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I usually don't really like the emperor energy very much. They're not loving. A lot of women say, you know, oh, I want an emperor. But here's the deal with the emperor. You're going to get somebody who's going to get it done, pay the bills, take care of everything. Yeah, you, you know, he'll take care of you too right but he's gonna want everything done his way and he won't be giving you any emotion like this is this is a I'm gonna get sex from you and um, and I'm gonna roll over and go to sleep this is not a cuddler right so like I don't know I wouldn't prefer an emperor I wouldn't prefer somebody in that energy but you know, to each his own, I guess. Um, yeah. But, it, you know, he's... At least he is seeing that he needs to do the right thing. Okay? And this is somebody who is definitely... Well, I don't want to say definitely. This is only, a, like, a possible outcome. But this is somebody who paired with this that... Oh, sorry, not that one. This one. The Emperor. The emperor is going to want to come in and possibly want a commitment. He's going to possibly want that commitment. Yeah, I think he's been in his mind about this too much. He has realized who's important to him, and this woman is his empress. He knows that she's his only weakness. Knows he wants to start something new with her so much that he'd even delay the Wheel of Fortune. Um... Yeah, he's completely in his mind about it, completely obsessed, double obsessed, double obsessed about this woman, right? Yeah, he wants to do things right. He wants to do things the traditional way. He wants, he, he's going to want a commitment. He's going to want a commitment. She bang. All right. Yeah, okay, this is a pretty big mess. Um, I hope this resonated with somebody, and honestly, um, if you are in the energy where you think you might want to do something to yourself or harm yourself, don't. Just don't. Don't. You know, hey, rely on tarot. If you're watching this video, watch others. You know, it turns into quite a soap opera. So it could be fun, actually. But, you know, please just don't do anything bad to yourself if you're in that kind of energy. Because that's the kind of energy that I'm getting off of, off of this. It could, it's going to resonate with somebody. Okay, just don't. All right, everyone. Um, check back with me. I'll do more general readings as they come up. Okay? And, um... Thank you for everything. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and shares, and donations. I, I'm just adoring all of this, okay? And I'm really sorry I'm in my bathrobe, but this had to be done. So, 
I did it. Why not? If that's the worst I ever do, man, thank your lucky stars. So, all right, peace out.